Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Jeff Raccoon 47 here with a little something to show you. Well, as you know, I take walks wherever I go. And when you walk, you find more things. I was just walking down the street. Lo and behold, this was somebody who dropped this. This is a, a bullet. You can look at it. The 40 Smith & Wesson Auto Round made by Federal. It is a hollow point. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm using my cameras are kind of wonky today, but getting some better light, maybe you can There it is. Federal 40 caliber Smith & Wesson Auto. That, like I said, this is a hollow point. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about how these things work. I mean, if you're a kid and you want to know, you always want to know that burning question, how does a bullet come out of a gun? Well, inside a gun, there's internal moving parts. And this goes into a barrel, the barrel of the gun and inside this is a substance called smokeless powder which is a a low explosive I mean it won't blow blow up a big huge ball of mushroom cloud or anything like that but it makes a small explosion inside of here the casing when at the firing pin of the gun hits this part of the gun called the uh, primer which has a which starts a reaction that sends fire into the gunpowder which may, makes it explode and it's not enough to blow this uh, this casing apart so what it does it pushes out the pushes this out down the barrel of the gun at very high velocity. That's how a bullet works, kids. And you will know what the purpose of a tip being hollow will. This increases the, the stopping power of this, this round. Most all rounds have stopping power, some stopping power to them. Even a 22 has some stopping power. But what happens is, when a hollow point bullet hits something, it deforms and mushrooms. This is just a standard hollow point, but there are other hollow points that have little cuts down the side. Notice this doesn't have very many, much of uh, any cuts on it. So this is just mushrooms. Others will form like a little flower and have like like little, they'll cut through the flesh and bone. This, this is just mainly meant for stopping, stopping people. But the casing is made out of brass, and the bullet is copper sheathed lead. It's lead sheathed in copper. Because, I mean, that makes it a little less toxic, I guess. Well, I just thought you'd like to see this unusual little item I found when I was walking down the street. I picked it up because I didn't want some kid poke picking it up himself, hitting it with a hammer, setting it off, blowing his finger off. Some kid put it in his mouth, swallow it, and choke to death. So that's... But I kept it because in case somebody, you know, you never know. Some You may have a friend that has a, a 40 Smith & Wesson that fires this particular caliber, caliber of bullet. And you might want to give it to him. Say, well, I got one bullet. That's, you, you can save just in case you run out. Well, 
Glad to have talked to you today. I'll make some more videos later and have a nice day and take care and good luck.